What's up guys, welcome back to another video and we are finally traveling again and this time we did a road trip from Orange County to San Diego so we got to San Diego yesterday, which is July 3rd, and we drove up and we went to La Jolla Cove and walked around there. It's absolutely beautiful and the waves were incredibly high. After that, we checked into the Carte Hotel, which is in or near Little Italy. It's a pretty nice modern hotel, but the housekeeping and the services are a little bit restricted because of COVID-19 and what's going on, so it's completely understandable. And then we headed into Little Italy last night for dinner. So we're going out to dinner. This is what the new COVID life looks like. A lot of people here in Little Italy, San Diego. Hope you can hear me. And it's really interesting because of the COVID restrictions. I think new COVID restrictions arose on Thursday where people have to dine outdoors so everyone put their restaurant outside on the street so that was cool to see and everyone's being super considerate staying six feet apart everybody well most people are wearing masks and so yeah we headed into little Italy for dinner last night and we went to Barbusa and I would say it has incredible Yelp reviews but the food was just okay so I wouldn't recommend going there despite what the Yelp reviews say. <laughs> and then we woke up this morning and I thought, let's vlog the whole day in San Diego. And we're just basically gonna go to a bunch of places today and take you with us. We're gonna start off by going to the Donut Bar, which is in Gaslamp, San Diego. And I look at the direction, it's actually a 15 minute walk. So we're just going to walk up a nice morning walk, grab a donut and get coffee and get our day started. But first of all, I need to get ready. <laughs> So I am going to get ready. I'm ready. Yes, that was super quick. <laughs> and let's go uh, to the donut bar and walk in San Diego. The view from the Carte is actually really beautiful. And also I would give you a room tour, but they're not servicing the room and it's an absolute mess. But I'll throw in some photos of what it looks on the website. It's pretty close on the website. And maybe later I can show you how it looks. Let's get going. Wake up to these better days. No clouds, just sun on my face. Flowers grow through the cracks in the pavement. Fresh kicks and my favorite. We just got back to the hotel and we got our donuts. I got a grilled cheese donut, which sounds weird. So let me see how it is. And then he got a maple. What is it? A maple bacon. And then a creme brulee. And then a creme brulee. So we'll let you know how it is, how they look. That's my grilled cheese, the creme brulee, and then the maple bacon. And the line wasn't at long at all. I've heard that it can wrap around the whole block, but it was very light and it's about 10 a.m. So I'm gonna take a bite of the grilled cheese. So weird, it might have gone a bit soggy because it's been about 10 minutes. It's so big, look at the size of my head. It's very strange, but pretty good. Like, with the savory and sweet. It's pretty good, actually. Thumbs up, the grilled cheese. Donut. Yum, yum, yum. Let's see how his are. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna indulge in these and then head out probably to the beach. So we've just gotten to Pacific Beach and we're gonna hang out at the beach for a little bit and see what there is to offer and just chill. Oh. Wow, it's pretty packed. So it is July 4th and the beaches are more packed than we expected because we thought Maybe people wouldn't venture out because of COVID, but it's about 11.30 or something. Crowded. <laughs> we 
Next stop, Old Town San Diego. There are many specialty shops around here and authentic Mexican food. So I think we're gonna get our Mexican food fix in Old Town, so why not if it is truly authentic? And we're also gonna check out the specialty shops around here. Final stop right now, our final touristy destination is Balboa Park. And my initial thoughts are it's very beautiful. There's loads of museums which are actually open this weekend, but they might close on Monday, July 6th. So hopefully it'll open up again, but it might just be a rumor. So we're gonna we have about an hour here, so we're gonna check out some of the gardens and museums. Are you jumping off? Ain't we putting on a shoe? Trying to catch a vibe. We do this every time, like na 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 na. Feeling like I'm on the highway, 'cause everything been going my way. And now they looking at me sideways. I'm like na 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 na. This is where. So I was wrong, and there's no museums open. Either we're too late, or they're just not open because of COVID. But it's a pretty nice place to walk around. There's beautiful architecture, beautiful gardens, which are free to the public, and it is pretty empty, so we've got very good parking inside the park. So I would say it's worth it, and it's only a five minute drive from downtown. I've been on a wave, it's a party, make a toast, it's a party every day. So anywhere you go, all across the coast, we do it every time. Like Juniper and Ivy in Little Italy. It's a tapas place and it's really tasty. Um, we wanted to venture out from a typical, we had Mexican, we had Italian, so we wanted to try something different and it's really good. And I'm actually going to close the vlog out here. But I hope you enjoyed the video. We did a lot today and we did a lot generally in San Diego. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It really helps YouTube and our algorithm and I really want to grow on YouTube. So that would really help. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.